My name's Cameron Davis. I'm a junior at the United States Naval Academy. I'm on the men's basketball team, and I'm from Battlefield, Missouri. I was exposed to the game of basketball very early. I'd say about five or six, I started picking up a basketball. Both my parents actually played college basketball, Division II level. And then right then, I just ended up loving the competition. I wasn't the greatest player at first, but fell in love with like my work ethic and just like being in the gym and just the sound of an empty gym. Every day as I come to practice, Cam's one of the first guys out here working. He gave up part of his summer to be home, to stay and work on his basketball stuff. So his family has instilled in him uh, great goals and values and morals, and that's, that's work ethic. My grandfather, he actually served in the Navy during the Korean War. And then my uncle is a retired staff sergeant uh, in the Air Force. He served 20 years. And then I also had four family members that spent time at the United States Military Academy up at West Point. I actually was recruited by West Point, ended up not even taking a visit there. So it was really just this place. And I don't even say it was a family rivalry or anything like that. I really just wanted to you know, create my own path. My family supported me 100% of the way, even my family members that went to West Point. Coach D does a tremendous job of creating that family atmosphere, and then he also allows us to have the ability to create that family atmosphere and cultivate the culture that we want in our program. So we always say it's a player's program here, and then every time we break down, we always say family before the beginning of practice. So, And this year, more than the other years I've been here, we can really start to see that this is something that is special and not only about basketball, but it's about more than that. Everybody supports each other on and off the floor. No matter what's going on, whether it's negative, positive, everybody's there, you know, cheering each other on, encouraging each other, and that's really the environment that we tried to cultivate at the end of last year and then the environment that we're sticking with this year, and it's been really good for us. I'm definitely one to play with a lot of emotion, kind of be that steady force for our team if we need it, and then just, you know, just going out there and having fun. Like, I think if you cultivate a culture where it's fun and you're just, you're just playing basketball, and that's the only thing that's on people's mind, there's less room for mistakes, and there's just more room for people to be successful. He's a competitor, whether it's on a basketball court, whether it's in a classroom, whether it's in his military obligations, he's natural. He's a natural competitor, he's a natural born leader. He will be a great naval officer, whatever he decides to do. There's times when he wants to fly a helicopter, but there's some other opportunities he would like to do as well. So I think uh, at the end of the year, as we head into the next summer, he'll start to narrow it down and figure out exactly what he wants to do, and he'll be very, very good at it. He'll compete, he'll, he'll want to be the best at it. If it's a pilot, he'll want to be the best pilot he can be. If it's something else in the cyber world, oceanography, whatever else he chooses, he'll do very well in that too. So just a driven young guy, great smile, and it's a really a pleasure to, to work with him every day and to be his coach and have that relationship with him. I would say the most rewarding aspect of the Naval Academy experience is signing my two for seven contract. That states that I'm going to finish my last two years of school and then serve my five years active duty afterwards. It was very surreal whenever it happened. At first, my plea bureau and my young I didn't know if it was gonna happen. Went through some battles with my family and you know just some internal things that I was going through and I think it's just a tremendous thing to be able to sign that have motivation to keep pushing forward and have something to look forward to as well it's just a jump start of a new chapter in my life and I'm really thankful that the Academy gave me this opportunity the coaches gave me this opportunity and then that I took advantage of it as well